Your vehicle's driver information center is the place you'll go to learn what's happening under the hood and all around you. The DIC displays trip, fuel, vehicle system information, and warning messages, as well as the odometer and compass. DIC instrument panel. You have complete control over the information center via these controls on the instrument panel in your GMC Acadia. The Set Reset button lets you set or clear a menu item. We'll show you the menus in a moment. The Customization button lets you change settings on your vehicle. The Vehicle Information button will give you a menu to scroll through. And the last button in the row is the Trip Fuel button. All messages will appear in the DIC display located here at the top of your instrument panel cluster. Let's look a little bit deeper into the information you'll see. Vehicle Info Menu. This button is your Vehicle Information Menu button. From here, you can check the remaining life of the oil in your car, as well as get notifications when it's time to change your oil. Remember to reset the Oil Life display each time you change your oil so that it can accurately inform you when your next oil change is due. This is a good reason to let your dealer do your oil changes. They will always ensure it gets reset. From the Vehicle Information menu, you can also turn a number of your car's features on or off. The Park Assist feature is turned on or off here, while the Side Blind Zone Alert is selected like this. And the Rear Cross Traffic Alert is accessed here. Give these a try. While in the Vehicle Information menu, you can also select your preferred units of measure that the DIC will display. Metric or English units are selected like this. Your Acadia is equipped with a sophisticated system that keeps track of your tire's pressure. You can view current pressure information here. By repeatedly pressing this button, you'll be able to view each tire's information. The system will alert you when one of your tire's pressure is too low. Trip Fuel Menu. You can access your Trip Fuel Menu here. By repeatedly pressing this button, you can bring up your car's main odometer that shows you the total distance you've driven to date. Pushing it again, will take you to your Trip A and Trip B odometers, which you reset to zero by hitting the Set Reset button here. From the Trip Fuel menu, you can also access information about your car's fuel use. Pushing the button until the range is displayed gives you an estimate of how much further your car can be driven before it needs a refuel. The average fuel economy setting lets you know how efficient your car's miles per gallon or kilometers per gallon is over a period of time. This feature can also be reset with the Set Clear button. You can also check how much fuel you've used by pushing the button until you see this display. You can reset it by holding the Set Reset button. The average speed display tells you your average speed over a period of time and you can reset it to zero using the Set Clear button. You also have access to a timer display. Vehicle Messages The Information Center is also equipped to let you know what's going on with your car and alert you to potential problems. The battery messages include letting you know when your voltage has dropped below a reasonable point, when your voltage is too low, and when your car isn't properly charging your battery. Your car will inform you of any situation related to your braking system, including alerting you when your brake fluid is low, 
when the hill start assist system has been activated because you are on a steep incline, or if you attempt to release your parking brake without pressing the brake pedal with your foot, as well as alerting you that you are driving with the parking brake on. It will also tell you if there's a problem with your parking brake that might require service. The DIC will also let you know if any of your car's doors are open or ajar, as well as letting you know if the hood or trunk are not properly shut. The engine in your car is a high performance piece of equipment and it's important that it doesn't overheat. The coolant system does a great job at this, but be on the lookout if the DIC warns you that the AC has been shut off due to high engine temperatures. It'll also alert you when your coolant level is low or you need to idle or shut off your engine due to overheating. When it comes to keeping all the moving parts and high-tech electronics working, the DIC is your friendly reminder. It'll even tell you when the battery on your keyless remote key is running low. It'll also give you friendly reminders when service of your car's different systems is needed. Handy messages will let you know when you need to have your traction control looked at, your tire pressure monitor system isn't working right, or your transmission needs attending to. If you're searching for more information about your vehicle's functionality, look no further than the Driver Information Center. Have a great drive!